hello and welcome back to my channel my name is catch today i am talking to you about the august um very good book in the subscription box i got it is these hollow vows by lexi ryan and the synopsis is i'm gonna read it out to you go to the civic court find the queen or Queen's secret portal to enter the most dangerous place in fairy, find my sister and rescue her from a power-hungry king. Child's play. Brie would do anything before making a deal with the fae. Death is preferable in their vicious schemes, but when her sister is taken by the sadistic king of the unsealed court, there is nothing Brie wouldn't do to get her back, including making a deal with the king himself to steal three magical relics from the rival Sealy court. Gaining unfettered access to the Sealy court is easier said than done. Bree's only choice is to pose as a potential bride for Prince Ronan, the Sealy prince, who's not quite as wicked as she once thought. Unwilling to let her heart distract her, she accepts help from a band of unsealing misfits with their own secret agenda. But as Bree spends time with their mysterious leader, Finn, she finds herself struggling to resist his seductive charm. Caught between two dangerous courts, Bree must decide who to trust with her loyalty and with her heart.
Hollow Vows. Did I see that end coming? I did not see that end coming. Gabriella. So much betrayal. Everyone's betraying everybody. And at the end, she is so angry that Lark's vision is coming through. As at least a version of it, because Lark says she sees about three versions of the future, all of which Abiella dies, of course. But huh? ah! when is the next book coming out? I cannot wait to see what Abriella does to those who she feels are deserving of her wrath. <laughs> In this vlog, I will also be reading <clears throat> After Love by Tanya Fine. Fine. This is also in the very little August subscription box. <laughs> Do not say subscription anymore. And I will just read the synopsis. Uh, car headlights. The last thing Ash hears is the snap of breaking glass as the windscreen hits her and shatters into a million pieces like stars. But she made it. She's still here. Or is she? This New Year's Eve, Ash gets an invitation from the afterlife she can't decline to join a clan of fierce girl rapists who take the souls of the city's dead to await their fate. But Ash can't forget her first love, Poppy, and she would do anything to see her again. Even if it means they only get a few more days together, dead or alive. It's not usually something that I would pick up myself, which is why I um, like having book subscription boxes because they get you to read things that you might not necessarily have um, picked up in a bookshop by yourself or bought online. Please ignore the toddler talking in the background. <laughs> But I can't get a moment to learn to do anything. So here I am recording with her talking in the background. Anyway, hopefully it is good. It is I'm not getting a I will enjoy this vibe from the synopsis, but we'll see how it goes.
into a 380 something page book I've been begging this book to move along and it is so I'm bored I'm bored I have been bored which is making me not pick the book to to read you know when I have time I just I'm just that like it deals with the mundane life of Ashana. So we watch her fall in love, get into trouble with her parents, um, with her friends, her culture, all perfectly understandable. Great. I love it. I love that bit. I just feel like it's dragged on for too long. And I find myself saying, okay, what next? Okay, when is this going to pick up and, you know, move on? Anyway, I decided to watch Squid Game instead. <laughs> show so popular the first three four episodes were fantastic i was like great this is like oh, wow. by the fifth sixth episode i'm just like i don't i don't get it is that it is that it i don't get it I mean, I was surprised at the person that actually set up the game. Wasn't so surprised about the reason why he set up the game. <laughs> but that, that was it. Oh, oh, and the front man killing his brother. My, uh, why? I didn't really get that either. That wasn't explained. Or oh, if it was displayed, I missed it. I didn't enjoy it at the end. It's very 
didn't really <clears throat> enjoy sleeping. I don't understand it. I didn't understand it. And I hear that they want to do a second season. Is no, no, there's please just no. <laughs> I'll return to this and hopefully I can finish it in the next two days you know what a three month old and a toddler hopefully I can finish it in the next two days because I don't want to really be reading this by Saturday that would just be torture for me and I hope that it picks up the 200 pages in please pick up I hope the author hears me and then picks it up. <laughs> I keep filming in different parts of my house because my toddler keeps following me everywhere. And she's found me again. So it's really difficult to find a quiet place to record uninterrupted. Anyway, I finished After Love. I finished it today. Today is Sunday. I wanted to finish it on a on Friday, but life happened. Um I'm giving it a three out of five stars because it wasn't really what I was looking for personally. Um not that there was anything really wrong with the story i love the writing style it was so simple easy to follow um but i kept looking for more in the story and i just didn't get that i think the story was just about ashana and poppy and the, and the easy mundane life which isn't something that i was looking for in the book but it's it's what i got um so because of that i found giving it a three if not i love the writing style i love the concept i love the concept of what the story was getting to so so yeah anyway i got some book mail just gonna just get into it just open it i know what it is i i have the, I have the signed copy of Blood and Honey and Gods and Monsters from the Fairy Loot. So I have the signed special edition Fairy Loot copies of God and Monster and Blood and Honey, but I wasn't able to get Serpents and Dove in the in last year's Fairy Blood sale that happened. It was a catastrophe. Every time I put it in my basket before I went to pay for it, it was out of my basket, and then in five minutes it was just gone. That sale was a disaster for me. I did manage to get some of the other books that I do like. Like I got the Song of Wraith and Ruin, which is one of the books that I really wanted. So I was able to get it there. 
but I have been looking for a signed edition of Serpent and Dove and I finally found it found it although I wish it was the fairy loots special edition but a signed edition is still good so now now I have I have and I have blood and honey and gods and monsters I have it all I have it all I have it all I can finally start the series I'm kind of excited too So I think I will do a reading vlog for that as well so if you watch out on my channel for when that comes out I'm not sure what I'm gonna get to it when I'm gonna do it and have the vlog up but that is something I'm gonna do if you like that concept please leave me a red heart if you have gotten to the end of this video in the comment section and I'll see you in my next one. If you like my videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye from her too.